So this week I finished off farming, um, so I'm not going to be doing any more of that. If you want to continue with farming, because there are stuff you can get past level 70, it's really easy and it's pretty cheap because mahogany seeds are so cheap. You can just continue to plant those, but I'm done with that for now. It's not like I'm going to max this account out or anything. The goal was all hard diaries, and now I have the farming level for that. And last week we left off fishing, so this week we're going to finish that off, level 63 to 70 fishing. Although we actually can stop just a little short of level 70, about 17k XP off of level 70 because we have two quests that will give us 17k XP. And once I hit 67 fishing, I started using Admiral Pies, which boost your fishing level by 5. Once you hit 70 fishing, you get Sturgeon while doing Barbarian Fishing, which increase your XP per hour quite a bit. So if you start using Admiral Pies at level 67, you'll be boosted up to level 72, which means you have 2 minutes of fishing before you got to eat another Admiral Pie. And it's a pretty significant XP boost, so I would definitely recommend doing that. From level 63 to 70 fishing, it should take about 5 hours. That's averaging 75k XP per hour. And I think I did get 1 or 2 strength levels along with an agility level while doing this fishing for free. Just because while doing this fishing, you do get a little bit of XP in both those skills. So once we finish that fishing, we're on to more quests. So the first quest up is Legends Quest, which should take about 45 minutes. And this quest gives tons of rewards, so you get access to the Legends Guild, um, you have the ability to wield Dragon Square Shields and the Legends Cape afterwards. Uh, there's a few other things inside the Legends Guild that you have access to as well. The main thing is you can recharge skills necklaces and combat bracelets. You have access to the Karazi, Karazi Jungle, and you get four um, 7.6k XP lamps, which I used on Agility. The XP lamps are limited to a few skills, which is why I picked Agility, otherwise I would have picked Slayer, but that was not an option. So up next, we are finally finishing one of the major goals on this count, and that is getting Barrow's Gloves. We're going to finish up Recipe for Disaster finally. We've had the quest points to finish it for a while, and we're finally going to do it. So we are going to unlock the best gloves in the game. This is probably the biggest and like most iconic quest on RuneScape. One of the biggest milestones in your account as far as quests. So we have five parts left, which should take about one hour. We have the Lumbi Guide part, the Scratch Aglogwi part, Sir Amikvars, uh, Awawagi, and then the final fight. Each one of those parts give one quest point. So by the time we're done with um, Recipe for Disaster, we should have 200 quest points, which uh, once we start doing Slayer is actually pretty big because that means that we have another um, block unlocked. So once you complete this quest, the rewards are full access to the to the Colonaromancer's chest and a 20k XP lamp. And the main reward you get from the chest is Barrow's Gloves. Outside of that, this stuff isn't super helpful unless you're an Iron Man. But the reason why Barrow's Gloves are so great, if you look at Magic Gloves, there are there's one Magic Glove slot item that is better than these. And that is the Tormented Bracelet, which is like a 12 mil item and it requires 75 HP. But if you look at range, there is no better range glove slot item in the game. The closest is Black Dehyde Vams, which are one less range attack and about half as good in the defense bonuses. And then for melee, it's a really big step up from the other gloves in the game. The best glove slot item in the game besides these gloves is a regen bracelet, which gives you plus seven strength and then around seven in the other attack and defense bonuses. There's also granite gloves, which also give plus seven strength and around seven in the attack and defense bonuses. But the barrows gloves give plus 12 in the strength bonus, so that's almost two times as much. And they also give that much in all the attack and defense bonuses besides magic, which is six. Both the regen and the granite gloves are way more expensive than these as well. Then the XP lamp, 20K XP, I put that on Slayer. And I have five main goals on this count, and Barrow's Gloves was one of them, so that is one out of five major goals done. So after finishing off that quest, uh, when I first started this this account and these goals, I originally planned on kind of getting like Barrow's Gloves, and that was kind of the extent of my questing. But I didn't realize how many quests you had to do in order to do all hard diaries. So we still have some more quests to do, and I'm kind of expecting to end at around... Uh, 210 to 220 quest points around there somewhere so that should kind of give you an idea of about how many quests we have left before we can just start training combat finish off the last little bit of the skills that we have left and the account will be done so right now we're going to do the great brain robbery quest line so first you start off with zogre flesh eaters then rumzeal 
and then Cabin Fever, and then finally The Great Brain Robbery. So first up, Zogre Flesh Eaters. That should take about 10 minutes. You, The rewards from it are um, the ability to create uh, Rilla Sims Balm, which cures disease. I think this also gives you the ability to create Sandfew Serums. You also unlock the ability to flesh and use composite ogre bows and arrows. Definitely want to use if you are chompy hunting. And we're going to have to do some chompy hunting for the diaries. Um, and then the final reward is the ability to use inoculation bracelets, which is a new bracelet that I've never used, and I'm guessing it probably protects you from disease. Next up, Rum Deal, which should take about 15 minutes. You get a Holy Wrench as a reward. Um, you also get access to Brain Death Island and, and the Holy Wrench. It basically, whenever you drink a prayer potion, if you have it in your inventory, it will make it so that your prayer potion gives you uh, one or two extra prayer points depending on your prayer level. Then Cabin Fever, which takes about 15 minutes. Uh, once you finish this, you have access to Mossly Harmless. You have access to Cave Horrors and charter ship prices are half. And finally, the Great Brain Robbery, which should take about 20 minutes. Uh, you get a Barrel Chest Anchor and you have access to Harmony Island. You also get a 5k XP lamp and I use that on Slayer. Then next up we have the Slug Menace. And once you finish the Slug Menace, you unlock the ability to wield Prossy Armor, Proselyte Armor, which is the best prayer bonus armor in the game. So next is Grim Tales. This will unlock the ability to wear the Dwarven Helmet, which is the best crush bonus helmet in the game, I think. And it also gives quite a bit of XP in a bunch of various different skills. And that is as far as I got this week. Next week, there's just a couple more quests. Then we are going to be training a lot of combat. And we should be finishing this account here pretty soon within the next few weeks. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.